The rotator cuff is comprised of four muscles, the subscapularis, the supraspinatus, the infraspinatus, and the teres minor. The subscapularis muscle originates on the anterior portion of the scapula within the subscapular fossa and inserts on the lesser tubercle of the humerus. This angle allows the subscapularis muscle to provide medial rotation and prevent the humeral head from sliding upward out of the joint as the arm is raised. The supraspinatus muscle originates on the posterior surface of the scapula, above the scapular spine, within the supraspinous fossa, and inserts on the most superior aspect of the greater tubercle of the humerus. This position provides the supraspinatus muscle with the proper angle to abduct the humerus, and more importantly, prevent downward dislocation from the joint when the arm is relaxed or when carrying weight. The infraspinatus muscle originates on the posterior surface of the scapula, below the scapular spine, within the infraspinous fossa, and inserts on the greater tubercle of the humerus. The infraspinatus muscle rotates the humerus laterally and supports the subscapularis muscle by preventing the humeral head from sliding upward when the arm is raised. The teres minor muscle originates on the axillary border of the scapula and inserts on the greater tubercle of the humerus just below the insertion of the infraspinatus muscle. The teres minor muscle provides for external rotation of the humerus and stabilization of the joint.